What up besties, it's your girl Sheridan and I'm back, back, back with yet another video. Y'all, did y'all watch this episode? <laughs> did y'all watch tonight's or last night's episode of Bell Collective? Let me just say this, Carlos King, I think you should focus every bit of your attention on the bells because the bells are the gift that keeps on giving y'all excuse my voice i'm just very tired but the bells are the gift that keeps on giving huntsville is stale the bells are yet alive let's talk about it and first of all i need you all to like this video comment down below i love to talk to y'all in the comments and subscribe to the channel this whole episode i was sitting up waiting for the fight like listen we're not supposed to be um excited about fights among our community among black women but baby i was so amped to see the aunties fight but i don't care what y'all think about me i don't care what y'all get to say i was hyped to see so gucci and selena scrap but let's get into the episode so we see latrice meeting up with selena and i know they're friends but i feel like this is to malign so gucci like and i don't think latrice actually has a problem with so gucci mm -mm. i think that latrice is the giselle of jackson and what do i mean by that so y'all know how on um real housewives of potomac giselle makes up stories and does certain things to she like a halfway producer that's what I think Latrice does. I think she started that mess with Marie for Storyline. I think she bringing Selena on this show to mess with Gucci. Because in the other seasons that you've been on this show, even season one, how come one Selena went on here like that? So I think she wants Selena to become a bell. That's what I think. But we're gonna see and i also think let me also add i also think that's the reason why jj and um so gucci was going so hard in the confessionals talking about selena because i think selena is campaigning to become a bell and i think that's why they was going so hard but we gonna see we'll see next season if i was right so they go dress shopping for um latrice's event and when asked who Latrice was inviting, she starts out by naming two people she is at odds with, Marie and Sal Gucci. And Selena's like, who? And again, that's why I think Latrice does stuff for a storyline. Because if you were to ask me who I was inviting to my event, I would probably start out with my friends. But it's interesting that she started out with the people she got beef with, which I'll think about that. Anyway um so selena's like who and i'm like girl you know who so gucci is so she said one of the bells is a little stale and i laughed at that so latrice claims that jj is still in love with selena and i don't even think jj even likes selena but we'll move on so selena can't fully articulate why she doesn't like gucci other than saying she doesn't really speak to her like that and i'm just like okay um so she also goes on to say she, uh she doesn't know how so gucci can be the number one retail retailer lord realtor <laughs> in jackson because she knows plenty of them who have sold more houses than gucci well how do you know how many houses gucci selling i think she just wanted to plug the fact that sanjay is a realtor which is very interesting considering like we see y'all houses on like youtube and stuff so like you know the insides you know what it looked like i okay let's get back into it so latrice is just cracking up and i'm just like ain't you the one who told us that gucci was the number one realtor in jackson mm, messy and i think that's why her husband and marie call her a snake anyway glenn and leticia are acting their butts off and i believe i'm sorry this is a sensitive subject but i believe they were acting when they went over to the house or 
was, you know, reacting to his grandmother being on hospice. Absolutely, she was on hospice. I think she was already on hospice um, because it was giving, the acting was given to be. So I think they're reacting or reenacting um, what had already happened for the sake of us. But Glenn is not a good actor. Also, while um, Leticia was wiping his tears, there were none. So I think that should have stuck with the original plan because initially in the scene, Glenn was putting his head down to act like he was crying or whatever. But him looking straight forward and on into the camera and her dabbing his face like we can't see that there's no tears coming out. It's probably not the best, you know, um, acting job. They should really try method acting next time. Um, but hopefully there is no next time because we don't want to see them, you know, dealing with stuff like this. But in all seriousness, um, wait, before we get to the serious part, when they go over to the grandmother's house and um, Glenn's cousin is there. That lady is beat, hair was dead. See, she knew she was coming on TV. And I want to say, Marlo Hampton, please take notes of what Leticia and Glenn did for um, for their family. You see how they brought their family on here TV ready? You see that? She had her teeth in and everything. That's how we do our family. Amen. Amen. But in all seriousness, I hate to see that this lady is going through this. And it brings back so many memories of when my grandfather was on hospice and we lost him in 2017. And I really hate that. So I know what that's like. Um, I just think that y'all acting was off because I know you were hurt in real life. Um, Leticia goes to visit Marie. And I'm just ready to fast forward to the fight, but I'm going to keep watching. So Leticia apologizes for Glenn Gate, and Marie starts testifying about her ex-husband and how he used to guess like her and uh, projected when when she was ready to leave, um, he projected his cheating ways onto her. And I I hate that. I, men do that and it's so disgusting. I, ugh. And so Marie says that she's ready to date and Leticia offers to set her up on a blind date. And to that, she could have declined or should have declined. Um, You see, Leticia can teach me how to throw a brunch. She can teach me, you know, how to snatch a waist because she done got snatched since first season. She could teach me a few things. But Leticia and Dave should not be in the same sentence. The way she be blind to Glenn's foolishness, uh-uh, you couldn't hook me up on nothing. You can't hook me up on nothing but a brunch of a business meeting. But let me pause and ask, where is Essie? I feel like we have not seen Essie this season. Where is she? I miss her. Anyway, Latrice and a friend go to see the dirt and sticks that are going to be her new salon location. We learn... <laughs> Girl, you malign so Gucci. And you ain't even got your shop together for your event that you're having coming up. What was the point? <laughs> what was the point of going behind So Gucci back only to end up with dirt and sticks? Mm, God I don't like ugly. I would have postponed my event, just so y'all know. If my building wasn't gonna be ready, I would have postponed it. I wouldn't head it in nobody else's shop. But that's just me. Cause you're not gonna get the advertising dollars off of my event. But that's just me. So anyway, back to the story. Leticia and Glenn have a quote-unquote date. And he thanks her for being there for him while he's going through what he's going through. And he stops, you know, his grandmother is transitioning. And instead of that being the conversation, instead of, um, instead of reminiscing about the good times and talking about his grandmother and his upbringing... And all that his grandmother is going through, he diverts the conversation to their marriage and wants to know what are they doing. See, you got to be careful with even helping people. It was a good uh, gesture for her to go ahead because she still is married to this man. It was a great gesture for her to be there for him while he's dealing with this stuff with his grandmother. But when you give a Negro an inch, they will take three miles. You know that this lady 
I'm sorry about that alarm, y'all. You know that this lady is uh, healing from the pain you put her through. She's trying to figure out what she wants to do. And you use that mo moment. You use that moment to, with your grandmother to be like, so about us. This Negro here. And so um, he says, what are, you, what are we doing? And he's becoming a better man or whatever. And why basically has she not folded since he's becoming a better person? And she said, you becoming a better you may not involve me. And I felt that. Glenn, you should be trying to become a better man for you and because you need to do better. Anyway, she said she feels like she's outgrown him and has. He said he came up in a house without his dad and his son will not do that. And my question is for the men, because I see a lot of time on these shows, the men have this, this energy, right? I came up in a broken house, right? So if you knew that, why would you put us in a situation where we wouldn't be in the same house? You did that. You don't get to guess like her. Huh? So men, not just men, but it's always the person who does wrong. And then you want to turn around and say, well, I grew up without my dad. Okay, so since you've been knowing that your whole adult life, why would you then become a munch with Twitter fingers? And we had to do a DNA test to see if you had a baby on me. What? You couldn't keep your little tugboat in your pants. What? I hate this. Anyway, he says, you keep playing. You're going to lose some real sugar, honey, I see. And I said, yeah, she's going to. Yeah, she's really going to lose a speedboat salesman who likes to sex on the side. Like, yeah, you're the prize, little boosie. You are the prize. I can't stand Glenn. I used to really like him. I'm sick of him now. So Leticia tells him that he doesn't get to make the rules or tell her where she can lay her head. And he said, when things go his way, things go smoothly. And sis got up and left. She's sick of him. And I, she got up, took her purse and her shapewear, and she was headed out the door. So he's literally insulting her, saying, when people get their little money up, I swear to God, they change. I said, no, when you had your little speedboat in those DMs and was not even arrogant enough to think, that she would put up with it, that she would continue to put up with your bull swanky is when she changed. He meet her at the car like, you really going to get up and leave? You really going to get up and leave? And he tells her, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus was resurrected long uh, faster than she got over his stuff. Excuse me. Excuse me, because see, here's the thing. If Leticia decided today to go ahead and cheat, how long it take you to get over it, Glenn? How long? Let's talk about that. So next we see that Maria is all dressed up to meet her blind date that Leticia has set her up more. And um, they're going bowling. I can't do the bowling dates. I have long nails, and I'm not about to break the bowling with you. I'm just not. But... This is Marie's day, and she looks so pretty. She says that she likes conservative businessmen. And in walks Trick Daddy's little brother. Girl. So she decides to give him a chance and also an NDA. He says his name is Playa. Child, he is he just seems like a good time and that's it. And that's what they had, a good time. And then she called Leticia and was ready to cuss her out for hooking her up with Trick Daddy Jumping. So after that, we go to Latrice, uh, Latrice's wig line. Um, and they're getting ready. And she has named all the wigs after the, the bells. So the bells are coming in. And I'm like, yes, this is the same for the fight. All right, so the bells are coming in. And I, Keisha... Um, and Leticia look beautiful. Um, Akeisha says it's weird that Selena and Trick, um, I'm finna call the man Trick Daddy. It's weird that um, Selena and Latrice are so tight when Selena dated Zaddy. Perhaps they still have something going on. 
and not just the husband, but also the wife. I said, ooh. <laughs> so, Akeisha is saying that she thinks that Selena got something on with Zaddy and possibly Latrice as well. Hmm, I can see it. Um, so, Selena comes in wearing this leopard body con dress, which is cute, but her wearing... Um, a bold lip without lip liner to me was not her final cho finest choice, but you know what? Those are her lips and not mine. So, so Gucci comes in and I love her look. I just didn't like the necklace with it, but everything else. So Gucci look Gucci. I love that green outfit. I think it's a romper. I need that. Do they say that in plus size? So, um, so Gucci and Sanjay greet each other and compliment one another. And Selena is talking to Tambra in front of Sanjay about um, Sogushi never speaking to her. And I am starting to think that she really has talked to their children about Gucci. Like, like Gucci said, she's claiming that it hasn't happened. She claimed on Twitter and stuff that it didn't happen. But we're seeing right now, you're doing it. So, mm, I also am starting to think that's Selena is bothered by Gucci. I don't think that Selena still wants JJ. But I don't know why she's so bothered by Gucci. Because it's Selena with all the energy. Like, so Gucci pays her dust. Selena got a whole bunch of energy. Um, and so I'm looking at the clock like, I know Carlos is not about to put this fight at the last two minutes of the show. Hurry up. So anyway, so Gucci starts to walk off. Um, I'm sorry. So Gucci um, hugs Tambra. And um, and they kind of have small ch talk. I guess Tambra left something at her house. Or, so Gucci has something at her home for Tambra. And so, so Gucci starts to walk off. And Selena touches her. And that's what she messed up. Cause so it has the um what's the baby name Selena purse touch me, I probably would have blacked out cause I don't like you, you understand? So she touches her with her purse and said, Shantae, well what do y'all call her? And Tamara says, So Gucci, okay, why y'all keep calling this lady Shantae? That's the same name that uh JJ mom called her. Why do y'all do that? Her name is Sophia. Anyway, let's talk about it. Um, so, uh, Tamara says, so Gucci. And she asked if Tamara was the only person she saw standing there. And Gucci said, well, you didn't want to speak at the baby shower. So, so if the baby shower was a couple weeks ago, you ain't want to speak there. Keep the same energy. And I, I'm not mad at that. Although it costs you nothing to say hello. Um, I'm not mad at that. So Selena starts cussing and she said she was so effing busy at the shower and did Gucci try to help at the baby shower? And Gucci said, heck no. And I ain't. <laughs> and uh, Selena said, and you never do. And Gucci like, okay, like I'm not going to help. And she don't have to help <laughs> if she don't want to. Y'all don't like her. Why would she lift a finger? She was a guest. She's a plus one, and she gonna sit there. Y'all didn't even have drinks, remember? So, Selena walks up on Gucci and says, before the baby shower, it's been like this. And Gucci says, well, let's keep it the same. Because, number one, I'm not about to sit here and be talking to some extra. Baby, I fell out when she called Selena extra. So, Selena gets activated and says, B, I was there before you. I was married to JJ before you. You will always be second to me. And I said, well, um, in chronological order, she's his second wife, but she's first in his life. And if you don't want JJ, why you bring that up? That was weird. And so if it was me, if I was so Gucci, and she would have said that, baby, I would have turned into mocking stuff so fast. I would have stood right there and put a glass in my hand like it was a microphone. I would have said, he's mine. You may have had him one, but I got him all the time. <laughs> he's mine. You may have had him once, but I got him all the time. 
Y'all remember that song? <laughs> so, y'all, and it, we could tell it's about to be a brawl. And Carlos said, next week. I said, hold on. I've been hyped about this fight this entire episode, and it ain't happening. Oh, dang it, Carlos. Well, I'll be back next week to see the fight. I love you, besties. Don't forget again, thumbs up the video. Like, um, thumbs up the video. Comment down below. Let's chat about it. Who side y'all on? Selena or so Gucci? Um, and then subscribe to the channel if you're not. I love y'all so much. I will be back vlogging um, very soon. I just really honestly needed to take a break um, and a breather, honey. But I will be back very soon. Please don't go nowhere. When my vlogs come up, please watch them. I love y'all so much. Have a blessed day.